All right, hopefully this is going to be a really short video. Uh, at this point, what you want to do is take all your gyros out and uh, set them up. Basically, you want the extent set to maximum, and you want the delay set to minimum. Um, if there's a normal or reverse, uh, you know, you can just set it for normal. Um, there's also a setting for normal servos or digital servos. Uh, I'm not sure. Some of the guys are using the digital servo setting, but I'm going to leave this on normal for now. Uh, the next thing you want to do is take all of the gain wires for your gyro, and you want to splice all of your gain wires down to a single connection, and this is going to go into the throttle channel of the radio. Remember the throttle channel, uh, we're using a throttle curve, we're using a flat throttle curve, which basically means that um, all three points or five points or seven points of your curve are all set to one single percentage rating. So as you move the, uh, as you move the collective up and down, um, that number isn't going to change. Um, with these particular servos and this particular radio, if you have the, if you have the, uh, you know, anything above 50% is going to be heading hold. Anything below 50% is going to be rate. The further away from 50% you get, the more gain you get in that direction. So, um, 40 would actually be, you know, 20% gain in the rate mode and 60 would be 20% um, gain in the heading hold mode. Um, anyway, just you know, get everything all wired up like this. Another good idea is to use some tape to uh, label your gyros so that uh, so you'll know where they're supposed to be and what they're supposed to be doing. That way you don't accidentally move a gyro someplace that it's not supposed to be when you're going from your test bed to your permanent setup.